Hi everyone! So this is kind of a part two to the median nerve stimulation for Tourette's. Um, I posted the link to my video on Facebook and everyone was wanting to know like what setting you set the little dial on and where to place the little pads that come with it or the circle pads you can buy. Um, so in this video I'm going to be trying to show you my best on where to place them. Um, it is going to be kind of hard to see because I can't really get my wrist the right way in this camera, but we'll do, I'll do my best. Okay. So the red one, it comes with, they usually come with big square pads, but circle ones do kind of work better, but, oh, I can't get that off yet. All right. So, the median nerve is more by your thumb, so I'm trying to twist my wrist. But you use your ring finger, and you place it on your thumb, and then you kind of flex your wrist. Sorry, I'm trying my best. Um, but there will be two, like, vein-feeling things, and they should kind of, like, pop out just a little bit. But mine are, they're right here. Like, right here. And then you, there's two of them, like side by side. And then these pads have like a little stem in them. And you want that to go in the middle of those two uh, nerve things, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this on mine. <laughs> Now it is a learning process because <clears throat> my ticks sometimes they don't go they don't help this don't help my ticks sometimes but it's just because I don't have it in the right spot so <clears throat> don't get discouraged if you do buy this and it doesn't help right away you just may have to move it around and uh, keep working with it don't give up now this one the black one goes in the back and it just goes about six millimeters behind the red one in a straight line the stem once again these ones are quite used because you can use them over and over again until they kind of lose their stickiness so and if they do lose their stickiness they won't work as well either so these ones might not help my ticks so you might not see much improvement in this video so it you will see improvement hopefully with this if you buy it but all right okay let's do six millimeters approximately i don't know and this is just a guess, too. I mean, unless you get out something to measure it. But, alright. So, I got those on. This is really hard to see. I'm trying to twist my wrist. Alright. So, they're in a straight line back. <laughs> alright, and so to turn it on, you just twist a little dial. And I turn my little dial to about two and a half to three. In between two and three. Alright, so mine is on about three. And you just want your okay, it's too high. You just want your thumb and your index finger to twitch a little bit. You don't want the rest of your fingers to twitch. <laughs> now you want this, the width to be set at 200 and the rate to be set at 12. That is what the uh, people in Nottingham used for their clinical trial and sh was shown to help some people with Tourette's. So that is what mine is set on. Now you can move the rate between eight and 15 if the 12 is not working for you. Um, that is also supposed to help. But mine is on 12, and it does help me. Um, but 8 to 15 can also help if the 12 is not. And this specific model has, like, a time thing. Mine's set on continuous, so it'll never stop unless I turn mine off. Which, it is actually helping me today. Um, it didn't help on Christmas because my ticks were so bad. Like, I was, I call myself a ticking time bomb. And I was just ticking like crazy. So I just turned this thing off to save the battery, but 
it is actually helping me today, so I'm very surprised because I am still coming down from the holidays. But um, I hope this video helped. If not, please leave a comment and I will try to do a different one. Like I will have my husband video my arm or something. But please let me know if it helped. If not, let me know. Um, I will link this exact TENS unit in the description. Um, just feel free to like and subscribe for more videos and updates with my journey with this thing. Um, thank you for watching.